Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. We need to have a conversation. Pour some tea. Let's let's talk. I'm going to just start right in, shall we? You guys, we got a whole new batch of pictures and so much to talk about, but I'm starting right in on this nonsense. More ridiculousness with kids. Look at this beautiful little angel baby here on the on our screens and look I mean, just look at the difference. Look at the reaction. Megan's not even, not that I'm surprised, but she's not even focused on the child. It's about, where's the camera? Look at me. Ugh, it's absolutely disgusting to watch. Awful, awful people. It's. I feel sorry for this little girl because she's clearly not into this. Um, and, and again, it just shows you where the priorities are. And again, I'm not leaving an idiot husband out of this either. He's just as bad, if not worse, but we have so much to talk about. This one wore some of the worst outfits. It's just getting worse. Every time I think, no, it can't get worse. It does. And this time they're ridiculously, obscenely expensive. Let that sink in, in Nigeria flaunting this. Okay, let's get into all this. I'm Jen. Hong Kong, everyone. Thanks so much for being here. I will get off this picture. I'm just stuck on that. All right, we retreated to this nonsense. Um, I'm showing this picture first because it's one of the only full body shots you'll see in a minute. Uh, most of them are in this outfit are of her sitting down pretending to be royalty. Uh, this time we can actually see it. I would say in its full glory, but I certainly don't mean that. Um, Full bush? That's not that's not what I mean either. Um, it slid up to her neck. How about that? <laughs> She's dressed for open heart surgery. I don't know. <laughs> but here it is up closer. I truly don't understand how you can get things this wrong. And listen, as somebody with crazy long toes, I don't understand... She's been open about hating her feet and, and throwing fits over her feet being included into pictures and stuff. Why, oh, why would you wear these shoes? It, it You just can't make sense of it. But let's get back to the god-awful dress. I, I mean, all I can think is, is she doing this so people will say, whoa, look how thin she's become. I, I can't understand it. Skeletor is not looking great here, but um, it's just kind of shocking to see, right? Oh, but that's not what's shocking. Oh, here's that beautiful little girl again. And look at the grinning idiot behind them. Um, yeah, it make it stop. I mean, well, and the gritty, grinning idiot to the left as well. I mean, make it stop. This poor little girl clearly doesn't want to be here. And you have this idiot hanging on to her trying to get the photo op. Awful people. We're also treated to this, an over-the-top reaction to a gift presented to her because <laughs> people are roasting her, myself included. You could go see my video from yesterday about her turning away from these little girls who were presenting her with some sort of gift. She couldn't be bothered, was trying to find the camera, pulled has been away. It was just disgusting to watch. So many people had reactions. To me, this appears like she's trying to have an over-the-top reaction to, oh, I was gifted this, to pretend like she, you know, gives a shit about anybody but herself. Here they are at some sort of engriftus event. I really don't care. I'm not here to publicize what they're doing. I'm here to talk about the nonsense. And nonsense indeed. First of all, I love the guy's expression to the left. I, it's like he can't believe what he's seeing either. But um, look at the two <laughs> faux royals sitting there. Are these supposed to be their thrones? I don't know. It just, it reeks of condescending. Like, let us watch the little people as they perform for us. I mean, just decked out in this ridiculous outfit. I can't stop talking about the outfit. Again, slit up to the whatever. And um, uh, you got the, the, I mean, top part. I won't even say boobs. The top part. <laughs> On display, you have a keyhole. There's just a lot going on. And boy, does she like to show skin. And speaking of what in the world, this is the back view, in case you wondered. Tag hanging out, lining showing, just a total mess. Oh, but don't worry. If you were curious, this dress retails for 2,275 pounds. That ends up being a little over $2,800. Let that sink in for this outfit. And I think this is a good time to remind everyone that they estimate about 87 million Nigerians living below the poverty line. It's the world's second largest poor population after India. Just keep that in your head as you think about the ridiculous display put on by these two and, and oh 
God, the, the awful outfits and just the over the top excessiveness. Which also, I would like to point out, not a Nigerian designer in sight. One of the things that I always love about Catherine, Princess of Wales, is that she does such a good job of showcasing designers wherever she goes. When she goes to these other places, she'll wear something from a designer in the area, and it helps that person, and it helps boost the economy. You know, it just kind of all works together to promote the area they're in and to show respect. Not this one, not a Nigerian designer in sight. Uh Uh-uh, it's all about her. Oh, but don't you worry, that's not the end of the ridiculousness. Check this out. Also, wore a tube top, (laughs) inexplicably. Can't explain it, I don't know. It's just wrinkled and messy, and we'll take a look at this. I didn't find out the value, I mean, how much this thing costs. I'm sure it was like, I don't know, $100,000, something ridiculous for a white, tube top. I just can't imagine wearing this when you're, I I don't know what they're doing. I'm not even going to pretend like it's a world. Obviously it's not. It's faux bullshit. But why, why a tube top? Does that show respect to the place you're headed? Uh, Just a plain white tube dress. I just, she just, Every step of the way gets it wrong. It's kind of incredible at this point. But I would like to show you this thing at full view because it's, Real, real, real bad. There you go. There it is. Again, it's just a white tube top with too much fabric around the middle. It really makes less than no sense. And I'm just thinking, I mean, one, I find it completely awful. And like, I don't give a crap about where I am. Look at me. But also, it just doesn't do a single thing for her. It doesn't fit. It doesn't flatter. There's bunching around the top. It's wrinkled. It's wrinkled to hell. It does not show that you take pride in where you are, what you're doing, or that you give a shit. So (laughs) it's just a mess. And it's not that I expect anything else from her. I mean, she's always say it with me, messy. But this is extreme even for her. I'm still stuck on the tube top. There's something else that I'm stuck on. I just want to show you, it popped into my head. I can't let go of it. Take a look at this. Okay, so if I have this right, this is the same day. This is earlier in the day, and then we go to the white tube top dress later in the day slash evening. Do you notice anything? Because I certainly do. Um, Let me just show you this. And there you have it. HRH Princess Chelsea giving you a shout out for is spelling it out better than I can, but it says, I mean, if you're going to wear chicken cutlets during one part of the day, you might want to stay consistent. Hashtag F.O. Megan. I think it's hilarious because F.O. Megan and F.O. Harry are trending on Twitter right now, but yeah, that's, that's a better way of saying it. You got, um, AM boobies and uh, PM boobies and they're not, there's a huge difference there. It's, it's like the bump thing all over again, changing sizes. You can't make sense of it. I, I mean, I just don't get it. And, and, and again, I go back to that white dress. What was she hoping that it would look like? What did she think it looked like on her? I just don't think that dress honestly would look good on anybody. I really don't. It has no shape. It looks like something you'd find, I don't know, it like a, as a bathing suit cover up, but I still wouldn't get it in white. I, it just does nothing to flatter anybody. And so to, I mean, to make this part of the tour, and again, I'm sure it was obscenely expensive. I actually would like to know that. If you know how much it costs, leave it in the comments below. Uh, I looked, I couldn't find it, but um, this is just crazy. And thank you, HRH Princess Chelsea, for saying it better than I could. And don't worry, I'm not leaving doofus out of this. Um, you know, the one that we all want, according to the Lemon Rats. That's what we're calling the Sewer Squad now, the Lemon Rats. The Lemon Rats claim that we all want this one. No, thank you. Um, <laughs> I'm not leaving him out. He has gone through this tour looking... I mean, it's how he always is now. Either completely pissed off or completely blitzed out of his head. I'm going for the latter in this one because, yikes. But uh, don't worry, I'm not leaving Doofus out. Have you seen this? What is going on with these two? I mean, I I really, I can't even explain it. I can't, I don't understand it. I don't know what look he's going for. All I could think of is like, 
I don't know, Colonel Sanders or some shit. Uh, the wrinkled and messy and again, just angry. <laughs> I really don't know what's going on. He's just angry and bewildered at everything now. And um, I'm not even sure he knows where he's at most of the time, honestly. But I, I, I didn't want to go without calling out this awful look as well. Again, I'm sure a fortune was spent, but um, it's just it's just crazy. I mean, we've really had some doozy looks this trip. I'm obsessed with whatever's going on on her forehead there. That's more than a vein. That's like I, something has moved in there. It's like a sci-fi movie. I'm not sure. But um, she always wears beige, of course. Wearing a lot of whites on this trip, m my speculation, I suspect, because I have a brain and so do you, that it's to appear more um, tan, if you will. But uh, nothing will make up for, for whatever's going on here, like forgetting to bronze her back. I'm actually glad she did because it shows how crazy she looks and how orange her face has become. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, it's just one doozy after another, and I'm 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 obsessed. Oh, speaking of this dress, we got a new picture. Have you seen this? We saw where it was dragging on the ground before, but now look at this. Holy cow! Look, I I have wonderful geese and ganders in my comments saying that you know how to alter clothes. That's an easy hem, all that. I it never ever makes sense. It really doesn't. I, I, there's no explanation for it. There's no anything. It just is. I mean, it's just messy. It's just, I don't give a crap. Now, I always have suspected, and I'll put this out here again. It's my opinion. I suspect or wonder if she's borrowing the clothes so she can't hem them or if she's reselling the clothes and that, I don't know, impedes on the hemming or whatever. To me, I think it's just part of being a narcissist as well. I suspect she's reselling the clothes. Again, just my opinion. Um, but I think part of the narcissism is I look great in everything. <laughs> you know, I can't possibly make a mistake. Whereas the rest of us would look at this and go, what? I'm not wearing this. This is crazy. <laughs> so she does not have that um, ability to see that sort of thing. I mean, what a disaster this tour has been. Um, I saw the pictures of Harry with the soldiers and it really turned my stomach. I'm not even going to show those photos because it depends on where you look. If you look at like, I don't know what you call it, civilians pictures, you can see what's really going on. Harold seems to be like just pissed off dealing with the soldiers. But then you look at, I don't even want to give him a shout out, that idiot photographer they bring with him. Uh, his pictures, they're like these black and white, like supposed to be touching, moving photos. But honestly, we can all see right through it. So I don't even want to post those photos. But this has been a complete disaster, in my opinion. And and it's a train wreck. And I think back to the like the Australia tour and everything we read about that at the time and, and saw. They really thought they had done something there and were royal rock stars and stuff. And it had gone so poorly and they really were just full-on monsters, it sounds like, throughout that tour. But they thought they had done great. That's when, allegedly, he had floated the idea of being, like, co-future king, whatever nonsense he was pushing. And um, it's because he thought he had done so well on the tour and was shocked when, you know, everybody else said, no, <laughs> you guys were a-holes, look at the Fiji market disaster, things like that. Uh, so I wonder if this will ever sink in what a disaster it is. My guess is no. Oh my goodness, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. Let me know your thoughts. Which is your least favorite of the outfits? It's really hard to say. My overall least favorite, I think it has to be that white tube dress. Um, I For most inappropriate, I'm going to go with that, that dress she wore to school. I'll never get that out of my head, the side boob at a school with school kids in the background jumping around dancing in a side boob dress is, is absolutely disgusting. That won't, uh, I can't get that out of my head. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being here. I truly wish all the mother geese out there a very happy Mother's Day. And, um, you know, as they do more crazy things, I'll talk about it. Thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.